I'm Shigeo Ijui. I'm a tortuous Malie. We live in a society of laws. Crap! And when you break the law, you get punished. I hereby sentence you to death. What? Screw you! I'll kill you, bitch! Laws were necessary to maintain order, but some people thought they were above the law. I think they overdosed. They're gone. Sorry, I know it's late, but I need you to get rid of something for me. Guys like them, all they cared about was themselves. Two of them? That's gonna cost you $300,000. Fine, fine. Just get over here. Looks like you two had some fun. <laughs> Just hurry up! I'll wire you the money tomorrow! They used their money and power to sweep things under the rug. Well, not on my watch. I got three beautiful girls waiting for us. Sounds good. Let's party. There they are. Guys like them? I can smell them from a mile away. Let's start by chopping off your Achilles tendon. This is gonna sting. Ah! They won't need those anymore. My job was to make them suffer. Ah! Help! Ah! Hot! Hot! Burn, baby, burn. It was my job to serve true justice. Today, I was meeting with a new client. Welcome. Please sit down. Thanks. He was in his late 20s. He was really skinny. Okay, then. Could you tell me what happened? Okay. He looked exhausted, but I could tell that he wanted vengeance. He had a fiance named Hitomi. They took her away from me. I want you to make them suffer. His voice was shaking. His eyes were bloodshot. Two years ago. Dad left me a lot of debt, but one more payment and we're in the clear. Congratulations. We can finally get married. Hitomi's father left her with a lot of debt when he passed away. Her father used to run a small business. I need about $300,000. The rates are pretty high. You okay with that? He borrowed money from some bad people. But when he was 48, he passed away, leaving his family with a mountain of debt. Dad! Mom, don't worry. I'll figure something out. Her mother was old, so Hitomi had to pay off the debt. She worked as a hostess to pay off her debt. Hitomi, you're so pretty. Wanna come to my place? Hey now, you know I can't do that. She didn't enjoy it, but she didn't really have a choice. She needed the money. But then, something terrible happened. Look at this place! What a dump! This guy showed up at her club. It was the guy that her father borrowed money from. He asked to tell me to come to his table. You got my money, right? Yes, I got all of it. This was her last payment. Or so she thought. But then he said to her, Oh, really? So you got $300,000 in cash? What? $300,000? What are you talking about? He told her that she still owed him $300,000. What do you mean? Our interest rate is 50% every 10 days. What? That can't be legal. I don't play by the rules. You better pay up. Or else... No, no, this... this isn't happening. She was devastated. She quit her job the next day. She tried to hide from the loan shark. It's homie. I'll figure something out, okay? Don't you worry about a thing. Thanks, honey. See you later. She tried to shut herself out from the outside world. But then... I got a delivery for you! Oh, coming! There you are! Get her! Roger that! No! They tracked her down and took her back to their hideout. It wasn't looking good for her. You think you could run away from me? <laughs> they did horrible things to her, and it went on for more than 30 days. <sighs> Look! Her teeth, they're all gone! Her face was swollen like a basketball. Then, day 33, she passed away. She's dead. Chop her up! But they weren't done with her. First, the guy got a big teddy bear. All right, take out all the cotton. Roger that! Then he asked his subordinate to take out all the cotton from the teddy bear. Put her inside! Huh? 
Oh! Got it! Then they stuffed her body inside. Then he patched up to the teddy bear. Ah, cut as new! This is a nice look for you! He was pure evil. Then, they just threw her out in the dumpster. He knew it was a matter of time before someone found the body. It was all me! I made them do it! Then he made his subordinate take the blame for everything. He owed him a lot of money, so he didn't have a choice. After he got arrested, I didn't want to do it. He threatened me. He lied, hoping to get a lighter sentence. The leader of the group is hereby sentenced to life in prison. As for the other two, I hereby sentence them to two years in prison. All he got was a slap on the wrist. And now he's out? But how did you find out that he's the mastermind? I've been following this case for two years now. I know. He's the most powerful guy in his gang. The subordinates are terrified of him. He's lying for sure. And this guy... He's for sure evil! When he was leaving the courtroom, he looked at me! And he smiled at me! He screamed at the top of his lungs. Losing a loved one in such a gruesome way. I can only imagine what he's going through. Don't you worry. I'll take care of this. Thank you. Let's get to work. What this guy did is unforgivable. By the time I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you were dead. Time to make this guy suffer for what he did. A few days later, I contacted a friend of mine who worked as a hostess. So, you want me to find out where he lives? Yes, he'll be back. I'm sure of it. He came here almost every week. The trap was set. She was a professional hostess. I knew I could count on her. You new here? You're pretty. Wanna come over to my place? <laughs> Maybe. Where do you live, hun? She was really good at her job. She was one of the best informants around. Me? I live on the 42nd floor of Platinum Hills. Oh, wow. That's impressive. That was easy. I could hear their every word. She had a mic in her necklace. All right, then. Time to move. Drew Tower. Platinum Hills. 42nd floor. Let's go. Roger that. We headed to his house to wait for him. A few hours later, he came home. Ah! What the? Who are you? I'm the devil. Who are you? Burn in hell. Uh, ah! A few hours later, he woke up in my torture chamber. He started screaming. You little shit! You're not getting away with this! You know who I am? I can have you killed in a matter of minutes! Oh, I'm so scared. Guys like him make me sick. I took out a picture of the victim. You recognize her? You feel any remorse for what you did to her? What? Oh, her! I was just following orders! I confessed! Ugh. He probably thinks he can lie his way out of this. Think again. You're not a very good liar. I've heard enough. Let's take out your legs first. What? Take that! Ah! Okay. Let the fun begin! Rukawa, ready? Ready! Hey! You know what this is? What the? Are those rats? What are you gonna do with them? Oh, you'll see. I grabbed the tube. Ha! Ah! Then I jammed it into his anus. This is called the rectum scope. It was invented in Argentina in around 1980. Here we go! Ah! My stomach! They used it to punish those who went against the government. It was a pretty gruesome way to die. Now, if I heat up this box, what do you think is gonna happen? What? Ah! Ah! The rats. They all started crawling into the tube, trying to get away from the heat. Ah! My stomach! I can feel them inside me! Ah! Soon they'll get hungry. They're gonna eat you alive from the inside out. There was so many rats inside him. But I wasn't done with him. It hurts! Please stop! Please! Fine. I'll help you. Hurts! 
When we burn the stomach, they come back to the box. See? The victim suffered for more than a month. I'm gonna make this guy suffer. Rukawa, keep doing this. We gotta make him suffer. Roger that. Ah! Don't kill him just yet. Death would be too easy on him. Don't mess this up. Okay. This is gonna be fun. 16 days later. Ah! The mouse! It's tearing up my insides! Huh? Oh, hello there. Some of the mice started popping out from his stomach. Good, good. Uh, kill me! In your dreams. Hey, you like to sew, right? Rukawa, get him in here! Yes, sir! I knew this would happen, so I asked a friend to help me out. He was an underground surgeon. He was a genius. Patch him up. He can't die yet. No problem. Just give me 20 minutes. Then he got to work. We're just getting started, buddy. Enjoy. <laughs> Rukawa, do it. Yes, sir. As soon as the surgeon was done, my assistant threw in more mice into his rectum. Then, on day 52, he finally died. Look at him. I was hoping he'd last longer. Yeah. With him gone, his gang was eradicated. After I cleaned up the mess, I called my client. It's done. He suffered for 52 days. Hopefully, this will help him move on with his life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.